subscribed even me without uploading and I'm so sorry that I didn't inform you guys early in advance but I'm back I had to take a mental break yes otherwise did you miss me did you miss me like the way I missed you you know I thought this feeling was mutual what happened did you miss me I missed you guys tell me down in the comments if you miss me also if you're new welcome hit the subscribe button the like button and share with your friends. Let's get straight to the point. To answer to, don't want to waste your time. Grab yourself a glass of water, glass of wine, glass of milk. Whatever goes around with what you want. Whatever goes around with how you want this story to be digested. The year is my third year in high school. For those of us who went through the 844 system. Yes. So I'm in form 3. And I remember having four friends. I don't know how we are going to name these friends. So as the title suggests, before I continue, I was arrested. Not really arrested, but kind of arrested. After this, you can tell me that was really an arrest. I don't think so. Bam. Let's continue. So I'm going to name my friends according to the, to the first letters of their names. So there's me, Ekena, or Esther, or Wanjiku, whichever you call me. Go to the story. Me, the storyteller. Yes. Got to date. <laughs> Secondly, uh, there's a friend of mine who's called, the name starts with F. That one. Then there's another friend of mine whose name starts with C, and uh, there's another one wh whose name starts with P. P is our, our main category, Apoivo. And then there's another one um, called, the name starts with S. So, to get us correctly, P is the main subject, not me, Pekena. There's another P. The main subject of our, the main subject of our story, where the story all began. And then there is uh, there is me, there is P, there is F, there is C, and there is S. Quite to date, there is five people in this story. Five, if I'm not wrong. Yes. So a day before the day of the arrest, we got into people got into trouble. I think someone P came late. P and S, I think, came late to school. And as you know, kichelewa unafanya punishment. If you're late. You have to do a punishment. So their punishment, I think, was washing. But then again, P got into trouble with the the prefect in duty. I think they didn't really get along because it was so petty. So not too little, too too little, too 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 It didn't really make sense. P was taken to the teacher, and she was punished. The punishment, you know, she was a a Kenya una pigwa. It was either that, yes, it was that. P was was taken to the to the principal. Oh, the teacher in duty and they got punished so people got punished and now people felt really bad because they had already done the previous punishment so there was no need of them being taken to the teacher you feel me i think you're quite aware when you're being you're quite aware about you in your comments i'm going to feel like obviously you're coming down that day in the evening the boyfriend to p came to school <laughs> the boyfriend to p came to school and us we didn't know the boyfriend so p was like yo so we go you guys we go down and you meet my boyfriend and then we're like okay what did your boyfriend come to do so the boyfriend had come to talk to to talk or to hit the prefect who made p to be taken to the teacher on duty we understand okay so the prefect on duty caused p to be hit by the teacher because of a mistake that had happened earlier and we had already paid for it, which is getting late. I don't know if you are going to come to the pool, then make a comment, yes, we are together. So our school was on third floor, so we went down and I went to a day school, mind you. So each day, unaenda nyumbani unarudi in high school, not primary, high school, form three, yeah? The third year of my high school. So we went down to, be, to meet the boyfriend. Luckily, for the prefects in the, on, on duty that day, he, will, he had already left for home. He had already left for home. So P went and introduced us to the, to the boyfriend. 
we didn't see any issue. We went back to, to our lessons and those evening classes. We had our evening classes. So the next day, this is where the story gets juicy. I went to school as usual. Normally I went, sat down, I was reading. And then the, the principal came in and the principal called for P. When P was called, so P went, went to the office. Mind you, this day, yesterday was the day of the punishment. Today is the day of P being called to the office. The reason of P being called to the office again, we were both, we, we were all, the five of us were worried. We're like, okay, why was P, why is P being called? She already did her punishment times two. The punishment and being beaten by the teacher. So it didn't make any sense. So P went into the office and was questioned a lot. And then P was told to go back into the classroom. Let me take a sip. Take a sip of water and hit the like button. Then share. Do not watch the full story without sharing with your friends. Forget the juicy part, P out. P was told, go and call your friends. The same friends when you will now, Oko Chimi, to meet your boyfriend. So now the story says that we, the five of us, called the boyfriend to come in, hit, to come and meet up the, the, prefect, the prefect on duty. This, is, this didn't make sense. P came and called us. So when P called us, we got to the door and as we were walking outside the door... You know when you're calling your friend, you feel like it's normal. The way you, you guys hang out, so it's in the morning, but it was weird since she had come from the office. So she called us and we were like, okay, what are we going to say? My God. So we actually agreed to say that that P, P had left keys and then the boyfriend had come for the keys because the mom sent the, the boyfriend. So yeah, all of us agreed that P, that we were going to say that P forgot to forgot and carried the home keys. Then the boyfriend was sent by the mom to come and get the keys. Are you up to date? So yeah, let's continue. When we get to the office, all of us was questioned. Everyone was questioned. When we got to my part, I said what I said. You know, snitches get stitches in the streets and I'm no snitch. I am no snitch. So yeah, I didn't spill any tea. We stay, we kept it low-key the way it was, the way we decided before we walked outside of the classroom door into the office. That's what I went with and that's what everyone said. I don't know, snitches in the streets get what? Snitches in the streets get what? Stitching. So, yeah. We went to the office and we were being pressured and pressured. Excuse. We went to the office and we were being pressured like extremely. So now it's not only the principal, it's the vice principal and like five of other teachers who are like on our neck. Tell us the truth. Why did the guy come? Are you guys are you are you, are you guys were you guys going to gang up on the on the boy? Did you call up a gun so that the boy could 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 kill the, the, the guy. I felt like this was too much guys cause yo who even does killing when you're in high school? Oh okay, let's say they are eight. But at that time we didn't even know what was going on. The four of us did not know what was going on, but P knew what was going on and the boyfriend. But that was none of our business. You wash your hands and you walk. You walk the talk. We were being pressured. One of the teachers suggested that it started as a joke. You guys are going to be locked up in a police station. Then me being the big mouth that I am, <laughs> I was like, even better. Let's go to the police station, then the guy can come. Very simple. The guy can come and get the girlfriend. Let's go to the police station. We were told to pack all of our belongings, so I went and locked my locker and I took the books that I needed. Mind you, it's still in the morning. In the morning. All this candle in the morning. We went to the police station. By this time, it's like early afternoon, it's like 12. So you haven't read anything the whole day. If I knew this was going to unfold, I would have just stayed in bed and slept. Very simple. Period. So we went, the four of us and uh, two more teachers. The five of us and two more teachers. So it's me, P, our main story, our main Kasab story, story, story. You get me. F, C, and S. So all of us, we are walking, we went to the police station and at the police station, the same pressure that was being put on us, it's the same pressure. 
but we were not taken to any cell. We were just taken to this madam officer, and uh, I think she had her own her, her own office, or we were using the office of of one of them. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't recall that well. But we stayed there the whole the whole afternoon, being questioned. By this time, you're hungry. You can't do shit. My you're hungry you can't do anything you haven't drunk any water umeka to pahali you're being questioned the same story over and over again mara we were being told to kneel then we knelt mara we were being told to stand up then we stand up then the teachers left and left then the teachers left us and we were left to the madam so the officer kept questioning us more and more but no one was saying something extra. It was the same story. So they had no choice but to let us go home. But before we went home, we were told, you were going to have to call your parents. So, I didn't live with my parents. My mom already passed away. I think I was living with a friend of mine. And, yes, I was living with a friend of mine. And then again, there's, um, there's B. B lived with her mom. And her mom was really supportive. So, like, the mom would come to the office. So, me, I was like, these people are wasting my time. Who am I going to bring to the office? So me, I just went in the home knowing very well that tomorrow I'm not going to go with anyone to the office. So there's that. P was going to come with the mom. And F, F's mom was supportive too. So most of the time when F's mom came to visit, like she would call us and we would talk, the five of us. So F, F's mom, we were, we were sure that she would come and she would be like, okay, why did you call me for all this nonsense? Because it doesn't really make sense. If they're saying something like this and like that, then maybe you should go file a report and something of the sort will happen and then the boy will be caught since the boy is not schooling at the same school and then there's S S will bring uh, her grandma and the same thing, it's like every parent of daddy was supportive and then there's C C's mom was very strict and C's mom was a friend to the vice principal and C was the only one who was like really really afraid that the mom will bring up a big issue so like we were all afraid for C now we were not afraid for P because P got her shit together hmm? but C C C's mom was like she's a good mom but you understand how moms can be they can be worried which is natural yeah so after that day we were told to go home so me I was like I Let's go home. I think it's it was around four, four or five. So at this point, there's no need to go back to school. What are you going to school to do? Just go home. So I went home. The next day, I went to school. We were called again in the office. I told the principal, "Who should you? Who should I bring?" Cause yo, there wasn't really anyone to bring. So at the end of it all, P's mom I think came and the issue was solved. And yes, no one got hurt, no one got killed, no one got any scars, no one got beaten up, expect P. P, I'm sorry, up to date. You didn't deserve that. That is for P. <laughs> and guys, that is my story for today. See you next time. And one more update. Uh, so I'll be doing story time the, the first week of the month and I'll leave the rest of the other Saturdays for something else. You know, you can, we cannot tell stories every time. We must be doing educative things, working out things, stretching out things and all those types of things and vlogs coming up in future. So guys, stay tuned. Hit the like button before you go. Hit the like button your like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet thank you for 600 i almost said 600k god you see these prayers huh? they're what the universe can you hear me <laughs> so guys i'll see you in the next video thank you for 600 subscribers stay tuned share the video i love you bye <laughs>